Good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? I know what you're going to say. Two videos in a row? Come on, right? No, I just want to know. You guys want to ride along? Let's go. So it's a beautiful morning here, central Wisconsin. We just got to wait for the dog. I'm not sure where the heck he ran off to. He's running around somewhere here. He's got to pee on everything in the yard. We don't need to see that. But watch what happens here. This is his door. He rides long. He even has a snap-on towel. It's all wrinkly and dirty, but it is. Hey, Poop, let's go to work. You ready to go to work? So two weeks ago, ah, uh, three weeks ago, let's say, we got a foot of snow. It was actually on a Tuesday. Today's snap on Tuesday. A week and a half ago, we got 19 inches of snow here. Finally, all this stuff is melted. The grass is starting to turn green. Love it. 63 degrees out. Got some thunderstorms they just said on the radio on the way, but let's push on. We're here. This is a daily routine. We gotta let the pup out. And he's gonna go run wherever he runs off to. And uh, we're gonna get the truck ready, so let's go do that. You can see all the sawdust from the mess we made yesterday. Let's flash back to yesterday. So we've been busy here at the shop. We're actually taking more pallets apart, cutting them up and stacking them on. We got a new rig here. There's another pallet in the back back there that we have to take care of. Getting our, just getting our stuff cleaned up. We got Angel helping, there's Poopy, the dog. So red back, red back, red back. Everybody wants red back boots cases of them. Well, Springtime is uh, when you guys order your boots. Let me know in the comments, but man, we had, uh, I think, 24 pairs that were ordered last week of Redback boots. I'm a little, couple short here. Uh, they got some of the steel toes are on back order. We'll get them for the guys. Let me know, like I said, down in the comments, when do you guys normally order boots, or do you even order your boots through your tool guy, or do you go to the local shoe store? Let me know, I'm just kind of curious. Cutting up all the pallets. He knows there's milk bones on there, so. Get that closed up. And unlock the door. We're gonna shut the alarm off right away before the National Guard shows up. So yesterday or last night, um, we set everything up so that this morning we're all set to go. And let's do it. Let's fire this thing up, do our check, and hit the road. Everything checks out good. Pup's got his milk bone. Water's full. Got our list. We have uh, 37 shops that we need to go to today. So let's hit it. About an hour into the uh, drive into the route, the landscape's starting to change. We're going from the uh, flat, sandy soil up by where I live. We're getting into the real hilly stuff here. Um, curvy and got some beautiful, beautiful scenery we'll be seeing today. So today's stops are going to include a lot of uh, one to three man mechanic uh, shops, auto repair, stuff like that. Uh, the first place we're at is a uh, actually a hardware store where they do rentals and the guy there, he purchases our tools from us to fix up all the rental equipment. And next we're going to go to an independent shop. So in between shops, I'm at uh, Kenneke Equipment. They're also a Ford dealer. sell a little everything, lawnmowers, detractors, and Ford stuff. 
We also have to place our order, so I got some, some guys that wanted some stickers. Um, this is where we get our, you know, our Zippos, stuff like that. It must be exciting because the pages are stuck together here. So, part of the ride along. Actually, my fridge leaked and I keep this book along the side, so. Oh well. So my question of the day today is on your tool storage unit, on your toolboxes, do you prefer stickers or no stickers? Like this repo box I have, he's got a bunch of different stickers on there. And uh, we'll take a look at some of the other guys on the routes, uh, what their boxes look like. Let me know down in the comments below, stickers or no stickers that you prefer. Listen, on power sports equipment now, not only do they put the uh, engine size on it, but apparently also advertise the horsepower. So it's about 11.40. We're running a little behind, and we're gonna head up into the hills. This is some rural stuff back here. Uh, we could drive for miles and miles in between shops, but these guys need service too, so to the floor and crank on through. When we get up to the top of this hill, the, the look around here is just some awesome, awesome views as we ride the ridge of this. Hilly and curvy, but beautiful. Just left the uh, shop with the uh, silo, and this is one of my favorite scenes. You can't see anything as you're coming up this hill. There's a stop sign, and then it just opens up. And the little red barn down there. that we go to, the uh, recycling yard. You guys have to work on the cranes and all the other stuff back here. There are some shops that we go to where the shops are super cool letting the dog run around and the dog knows exactly which shops them are. Other than that, he sits on the truck and there he goes. And we just let him run around for a couple minutes out here. Have fun. Beautiful day out. Oh, looky, looky, what do we have here? Actually, I shouldn't even kid around. That's Jeff's truck. Jeff's the uh, Mac dealer around here. Super duper nice guy. I get along with him real well. And unfortunately, his truck's been broke down more often than not. And these guys are fixing it up. These guys are the uh, six liter Duramax guys. Six six, I should say. o'clock or 459 actually and we're at another one of these stops and you can tell somebody knows the drill and oh we got the door locked on them 
probably wondering what in the heck. There we go. Man, he'll just run around. You might have seen some pictures on my Facebook uh, not too long ago with him playing with uh, the horses. And this is where it was at. Well, we made it back. It's, uh, let me check my watch, 7.23 at night. Um, you can hear the birds going crazy over at the warehouse over there. I don't know what the deal is. Um, so we got the truck parked inside, plugged in, and we had a couple boxes that came in. We got a bunch of them coming in the morning. All right, I appreciate you guys riding along with me today. If you had a great time, consider hitting the subscribe button. Check out my other videos I have on here. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Put your comments in the comments down below. What do you prefer, toolboxes with stickers, without stickers? Let me know about the boots, and I'll see you next time.